Super quick, super easy, holiday wine gnome topper. What is up? Welcome back. Hey, if you're new here and you like to do it yourself, build it yourself, or make it yourself, go ahead and subscribe. You'll like this stuff. Today, we are making holiday gnome wine toppers slash ornaments. Oh, dual purpose. Yes. I've seen a lot of these little gnome things everywhere, and I happen to find these at Joann's. These little, what are they? Cardboard cones. Yeah. And this is what we're gonna use. I think I got them for like $2 a piece, maybe even cheaper. And so this is what we're gonna use as our base for our wine topper. Okay, stay focused, babe. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a fur beard, oh, which right. right here, I bought this, uh, what did I buy? Uh, half a yard of fabric. This is way too much. Really, you only need a quarter of a yard of, of fur here. Oh, is this for my beard? Yeah, this is this is something. We could use this to like lay on the floor oh. when we're done. Hold on, this is my new cape. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Get it, get it. It's your holiday cape. <laughs> okay, so I drew a little pattern on here. I made a pattern. Actually, what I did was I found an, I found a gnome, and I tore apart a gnome and I made a pattern out of this gnome mm -hmm. and so we're going to use this to create our gnome today. So that's what I've drawn on this fabric. I'm not even sure if you can see it from there. But what I did want to tell you is a little trick and did you want to get the close-up camera? Oh uh, yeah, close-up cam. Okay. So you can't just use the scissors to cut out this uh, pattern here because he'll have a short straight beard. He'll have a tight cut beard. Oh, tight cut beard. And what we want is a long beard. This is a Scandinavian gnome. Ooh. So he needs to have a nice long beard. He's gonna be an elder. All right, so let me show you up close. All right, up close. Man, go. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to cut just the backing, but not the actual fur on top. So I found using this X-Acto knife just cuts the fabric in the back. See what I'm doing here? Yep. And really just going to take a couple passes. And then that leaves the fur beard. Oh, okay, I get it. All right. Right. So, so I don't end up bleeding again by the end. We don't have to cut this out because guess what? I have already cut us a beard and you should have one over there at your workstation too. Oh, I do have a beard. But guess what? This stuff is, whoo, a mess to work with. It's hairs everywhere. And I will tell you when I went to Joann's and I asked her to cut me some fabric, she said, oh. I thought I wasn't going to have to cut fur today. So I can tell you that must not mean it's fun to work with. Oh, we're already getting furry. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna try two different methods. You have it hanging off of your beard. <laughs> we're gonna try two methods today. Garrett's gonna try the hot glue method and I'm gonna try the no sew glue fabric fusion from Eileen's here as my method. Now, we could sew this, and I think it would look really nice, but not everyone has a sewing machine, so we're gonna try the no-sew gnome. Yeah. All right, ready? You need your cone. Coned. You need your beard. Beard. And we already have our little hat templates cut out. Mine's going to be red. What color is yours? Have it over there at your station. Gray. Gray. And then we're gonna use these little Fuzzball, let me see if I can show you. These probably can't see it. Little fuzzball noses. Here's your nose, here's my nose. And then, in order to keep the hat stiff, we're gonna use some... Oh, pipe cleaners. Yes, pipe cleaners. Nope, nope. I was making a monocle. Well, you're gonna mess it up. All right, step one, add your beard to the bottom of your cone. Let 
drive two to four hours. Oh, oops. Are you telling me I gotta use the hot glue? Cause that's hot. We'll share, we'll share the hot glue. Let's build our hats and then we'll add our nose because you can't decide where, you can't put your nose until you know where your hat's gonna be. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what, what everyone says. Say say. That's what everyone says. <laughs> Don't put your nose on it so you know where your hat's gonna be. <laughs> Say it. I mean, like, it's like, it's like I'm just a, saying. That's how it is. Yeah. That's what my grandpa used to tell me. All right. So the trick with the hats to give it a little bit of a crinkled hat look, if you can see that, is to add the pipe cleaner on the inside, right at the tip. Add the pipe cleaner at the. <laughs> I <laughs> know it's hot. It's like sticky lava. And then once you add your pipe cleaner at the top, you bend it down. And then you can use that to give your hat kind of a crinkled look. Because you'll attach the pipe cleaner on the inside. So I'll show you that in a moment. So let's first add our pipe cleaner to the top of our hat. Hold it up. Uh, here we go. <clears throat> now just seal the edges of your hat. There's my hat. See my seam. Yeah, not bad. But you, it will turn out okay. Don't judge. <laughs> do 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 do. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put a ball on the top of mine. Oh, oh I like yours better. Huh. I like your skinny hat. Yes, mine's a skinny hat. Mine's a fatter hat. Skinny gnome hat. All right, so <clears throat> step two, we need to cut the tip off of this thing so we can put our pipe cleaner down in there. Careful. <laughs> So with the pipe cleaner in there, you can give your hat a little bit of a curve. You see how I'm pulling on the pipe cleaner? And you can attach it on the inside can. and leave it curved. Yes. Yes, like that. We have to do it back here. Yes, but before you do that, I think you need to decide where your nose goes. Oh, my nose. Yes, where does your nose goes? So now that you know where your hat's gonna go. You want to tuck your little nose right up under that hat, like this. So now that I kind of know where it's going to go, I can glue that on as well. And I'm going to have to use the hot glue. Ah, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> it sneaks up on you. Yes, yes. When it first touches you, it's not quite as hot. But then guess what? It just soaks like, into your skin. I was like warm, warm, warm. Baba! <laughs> All right. Oh, he is so cute. Look how cute that is. All right, that's gonna be my guy. I love it. I love it. All right, let me hot glue this All right, hat yep. Let me put my little hat and pipe cleaner back in there. Now that I got his little nose on. And so from here, you just want a hot glue or tape or something, your little pipe cleaner on the inside. What do you think so far? My guy needs like a, he needs some age in his beard. Babe. Well, his pipe cleaner is sticking out there in the back. Oh yeah, I got to clip that. Clip it if you can clip it. Alright, there's his little nose attached to his little beard and his hat. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna put a little ball on the end of mine too. I didn't do that yet. Yeah, that's cute. I'm gonna add some uh, I'm gonna add some gray to his beard. Add some gray to his beard. Yeah. Just gonna add a little. Give me a little something, a little something. A 
it's just an ink pad and like a glue brush. So we have our little gnomes complete. Next step <clears throat> is to add just a little piece of this twine to the back and we'll make it so that you can then hang it as an ornament on a tree when you're done. There we go, isn't that so cute? So now he can be an ornament. After he's a gift. All right. Who's came out better? Vote again. Garrett's came out better. Right, good job, dude. You like to do it yourself. Build it yourself. Make it yourself. So do we. So if you want to see more projects and you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And remember to hit that bell to be notified of our new videos each week. Before you go, check out one of these other videos over here, over on this side. Here's the subscribe button. Other videos to watch. <laughs> subscribe button.